Let's talk about a manifesting code to get everything you desire. Something I wish I knew earlier today on Awakening with Amy. Welcome, I'm Amy Valentine, Certified Life Coach, hoping to awaken within you your knowledge that you can be, do, and have any desire. And today, if you are one of those people that is trying to figure out how to manifest, you know, what to do, you know, just in that rut, that perpetual gap between wanting something but not manifesting it. Well, this is the video for you because I'm going to talk about in this short video, a manifesting code so you can get out of doing endless processes or f trying to figure it out and be what you desire. So let's start with a Neville Goddard quote. Let me read this quote and then we'll get into the video on how to manifest more of what you desire. So Neville says, to become a master of your assumptions is the key to undreamed of freedom and happiness to become a master of your assumptions. What's he talking about? He's not talking about doing more. No, he's talking about a mindset shift, mastering what you allow yourself to focus on, what you allow yourself to believe in or assume to be true. To become a master of your assumptions is the code to undreamed happiness. It's a not about doing anything. That's the secret. It's about being. It's not about doing more. And look, yeah, we all, including me, get into that back, fall back on, on that habit. You know, oh, I need to do more, right? You know, something out there in 3D is happening and you don't like it or you want to shift it or change it. And then you get back into that habit of what society tells us is the, is the answer, right? Do more effort, you know, strive. No, that's the, the false bogus idea. It's not about doing anything. It's not about doing more of anything or effort. It That's counterintuitive when you're looking at things from a spiritual or metaphysical perspective. Why? Because the universe only says yes. It's only giving us what we're putting more of our focus and attention on. And what are our assumptions other than what we believe to be true, who we are being in any and every moment. So here, this is the power of this manifesting code, do nothing. It's about being more. Everything is a reflection of what we're doing within our mind. And what Neville's saying, when you become the uncritical observer of your assumptions of your life, now you can just claim your new reality. And the more you focus your attention on that new reality from a perspective of being a person that knows it's on its way, then you don't have to do anything to make that happen. You begin to understand what conditional love versus unconditional love means, right? Conditional love is what society tells us, that you have to get more degrees, you have to do more to be worthy of something. I mean, it's so ingrained in our consciousness, right? So it's literally about turning that, flipping that on its head, just being curious and, and investigating if that really works for you, right? Because it does work to some degree. But it's, there's a lot of resistance in that. There's a lot of exhaustion in that. And it never lasts. But what does last is the beingness, connecting to that higher version of ourselves. How does that higher version of you see you? How does source energy, infinite intelligence see you? Well, only through the eyes of unconditional love. So that means that just by being born, 
we have a right to manifest. That's the whole point of awakening in the dream of this reality that we're living in is that we're here to manifest. We're here to experience in a physical body what God knows. And what does God only know? The oneness, one love, the unconditional nature of existence. It doesn't see evil. It doesn't see fear, right? So we have, how do we do this? It's just about awareness. We have two choices in every single moment. That's why Paul said, I die daily. It's just about every day dying to that habitual, like egoic, like I got to do more to be more. No, reverse that. It's not about do, be, have. It's about being, then doing, then having. So it's, it's just an inner movement. It's an inner conviction that the only assumption that I need is that I can be, do, and have anything, that all things are possible, right? So in every moment, we have two choices, right? To believe in our desires, in our fulfillment, or to believe in our non-fulfillment, right? Which is just fear and doubt. And that's what always creates that gap. Because before they call, I will answer. That was in Isaiah, I think. What it, what it was Jesus saying? Before they call, before we ask, before we even are aware, it's our right of consciousness to have it. The asking and the receiving is one. The seeking and the finding is one. Just let that sink in. Let that go within and feel the beingness of that. Feel the truth in that. That that is the truth we're here to awaken to. So decide. There's only one thing for you to do. To decide that my being here in a physical body is the only thing I need to ever do. It's the only thing. You only just need to remind yourself that me being in a physical body is enough. I am worthy. Everything is already mine. It's already yours. There's nothing to do to be worthy. And that is the manifesting code. Be it. Be a person that cultivates that belief within. Like Neville says, be a master. Learn to be a master of your assumption. And the only assumption you need to manifest Anything that you want in your life is that I can be it. I can do it. I can have it. I don't know how or when, but cultivate that belief within. Because otherwise, you're creating a gap between, and it's really just a self-imposed gap, between what you want being here or not being here, right? You don't need to create the gap. You can if you want. I mean, that's part of the fun of this life experience, right? A little bit of resistance helps us get clear. So either way, this video is just a reminder to cultivate that inner worthiness that is already yours just because you are born into a physical body, that we are one with the Father, with source energy. Fear not, little flock. It is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. That's what Scripture meant. Leave the fear alone. Leave the doubt and the worry alone. Don't try to fight it, because now you're putting your light and your attention on it and making it bigger. It is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, and the kingdom is already yours. So, manifest code. It's about being. Tell yourself that. Cultivate that inner conviction until it feels natural. And do it every day. And I promise you'll start to feel. That's the first evidence, that feeling of that inner conviction before any physical manifestation. And you know what? That's what being more is all about. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing the video. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. I love you all.